Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. So today is Monday, December 26th. And honestly, I don't have, like, I'm not in the middle of any books and I don't really know yet what I'm gonna read. Because, like I said in my previous weekly reading vlog, I don't have any, like, book specific videos so I can like just read whatever and since I'm a person who hates to make decisions that is not a good thing because I will just you know look at my TBR and be like I have no idea what I want to read so yeah and I do have like a lot of planned outside of reading for this week so again just like last week I probably won't be reading that much so we will find out what I end up reading. Literally no reading plans whatsoever, but welcome to the vlog. Okay, so things have not gone according to plan because it's already been a week, so today is Monday, and in the intro of this vlog, I said that I had a lot of plans and none of them happened because I got sick, like right on Monday, Monday night, I got a fever, and then on Tuesday, like, I got a sore throat, and so I was like, COVID? But then I did three tests and they all came negative. I mean, not three in one day. I did one on Monday night, I did another on Tuesday and another on Wednesday and they were all negative. And then like on Wednesday, I like I was feeling better. My throat didn't hurt anymore and my fever was like way down, almost no fever. But then on Wednesday night, I got the worst headache of my life. And then on Thursday, it continued. And on Friday, it continued. And my mom was like, you need to go to the doctor. And I was like, I don't wanna. But I did. And apparently it's sinusitis, even though like I've had many cases of sinusitis in my life. And I mean, my head hurts, but not like this. And like I could barely stand up. And yeah, apparently there's that. And also tonsillitis, even though my throat didn't hurt anymore and like it's funny because like when I got there I talked to the nurse first and I like, told her what was happening and then she wrote it down and sent it to the doctor so when I got to the doctor he would know and so he was like I was there talking to the doctor and then he checked my throat and was like yeah okay it's red it's swollen I'll just give you antibiotics and I was like but it doesn't hurt anymore my problem is my head and he was like oh so I was like isn't that written down there? Because I've already talked about this. So yeah, that was an interesting experience. So yeah, that happened and none of my plans happened. But after we were done with the doctors, we actually had some shopping that we needed to do. And I bought something that I already showed in the video, which was this Funko Pop, because in the previous week, also like it bobs its head and I never like the ones that bob their heads, but like I didn't know that it was like this. I mean, when I bought it, I did because I looked, but like before that, I didn't know and I already wanted it so much by the time I figured out it like bobbed its head. So I just got it anyway, because in the week before I have been there with my best friend and I saw it and I was like, oh my God, I need it. But it was like more expensive than regular Funko Pops because it's supposed to be like limited edition so it was like okay i don't need this but i need this i mean i was gonna buy it but actually my mom was there and she bought it for me so even better then obviously there was new year's actually we went to my mom's goddaughter's house because like i'm feeling good now i'm feeling normal basically i still have like a light pressure in my head but like nothing that actually you know bothers me that much so we went there and that was fun and 
it took me like a whole week to read a book and like not read i was just listening to it on audio but then like when i had like a really bad headache i couldn't even listen to it because it would just make my head hurt more so it took me like a week to read a book and then i read another yesterday and those two books were part of the same series which again you obviously saw and that was the hand on the wall which was the third book in the truly busy series which is a mystery series and this this one like the third one was the conclusion for the like original mystery i don't know if it was supposed to be a trilogy at first and then more books were added or if it was just always supposed to be like three books about one thing and then more books and if you don't know we are following stevie who is in a school Ellingham? Wellingham? Something like that? Yes, I read three books about that school and still don't know the name of it. But basically, that school helps people who want to be like one specific thing. Like there is a guy there who wants to be a writer. She, Stevie, like wants to be a detective and she wanted to actually figure out a mystery from the school, like from the people, the family who owned the school like way back in the day. So she is determined to find that out, that mystery. But then like there's another, like other mysteries start going on at the school as well. And she is trying to figure everything out. And so this third book is the conclusion of those investigations of hers. And the first and second book I read in 2021, I think, like both of them, I'm pretty sure. And I really, really liked them. Like I remember absolutely being obsessed loving them and this one I don't know if it was me or if it was a book or if I was just already tired of these mysteries like lasting so long but I mean I liked it it was fun I still like Stevie I still enjoy the characters and enjoyed the setting I was still you know wanting to know what the hell happened but I didn't like love it love it as much as the others and so I give this one three stars. And then I read the next one, which was The Box in the Woods, which is, again, following Stevie. Uh, but this time it's a whole new mystery. And she's actually contacted by someone who owns, I want to say, he doesn't own it. He's in some way connected to a summer camp. And in that summer camp, years ago, people were murdered. And so Stevie and some of her friends go there and she starts investigating and this one i had a lot more fun with and again maybe it's because i was just tired of the other mystery and wanted a new one and that's why this one was more fun for me but i had a much better time with this one and yeah i really enjoyed this one and i gave this one four stars and i think i'm actually gonna read the fifth and as far as I know, like at least for now, final book in the series, like this week that's starting today, because I want to finish series. I have many series going on and I want to finish them. So I think I will probably do that. And yeah, that is it. That is what happened this week. Not very eventful. Like literally the main event was me getting sick because it lasted the whole week. But let's just wrap up the pages. So the hand on the wall was 369 pages and the box in the woods was 400 pages. So that gives me a total of 769 pages, which again, not that much, but I was sick and I'm home. And like I said many times before, I don't expect to read that much while I'm home. And yeah, that is everything. That is the end of this weekly reading vlog. I hope you still enjoyed it somehow and if you did give it a like and subscribe and i will talk to you next time bye